Hi, this is Charlie with Boxing Focus. Let's talk Paul Smith versus Arthur Abraham. Um, a brave performance by Paul Smith. He really, really gave it everything. You know, I, I, I put up a poor quality video uh, predicting that um, Abraham would win a close-ish decision. And uh, the reason for this is that Paul Smith probably performed about as well as he could have done in the first fight, but Abraham... You know, it appeared that he really underestimated Paul Smith, who, who let's be real, had been selected because he was a good, weak, mandatory. And, uh, and Sauerlander looking to, to make the most of Arthur Abraham's name before he retires. Because he, he's been in a lot of long, hard, tough fights. I mean, I think they were mentioning he's done 12 rounds 16 times now. Um, he, he's got a lot of miles on the clock and... He's saying he wants Sturm or Stieglitz in his next fight. You know, I, I don't think he's got many more fights left in him. And that, and for that reason, I probably would expect him to lose whoever he, he fights next um, if it's you know of that kind of level. But Paul Smith wasn't on that kind of level. Um, you know, he, he performed about as well as he could have done in the first fight. But there's a reason that he's only really stepping up at kind of age 32, and that's unfortunately for Paul Smith. He's not the most talented fighter on the planet. He's obviously got lots of heart, lots of guts, um, but he just he, he's not athletic enough, and he, he's he's not got the kind of hand speed or the, or the, the general composure or the, the the ability to put it all together in terms of head movement and countering. It's he seemed to be able to only do one thing at a time, and, and Abraham was exploiting that in, in this fight. And confidence, this is what I was saying in the uh, prediction video, confidence is a, it's a two-way street. It's a double-edged sword. You can gain confidence, but you can also lose it very quickly. And, and once Paul Smith had been hurt, and he, cause he was wobbled by Abraham in the fairly early goings of this fight, once he'd been hurt, he, he just didn't have any faith in, in his uh, ability to stand in the pocket with Abraham to trade or... or you know, to stand his ground, and, and because of that, he was backing up. He didn't really have commitment in a lot of his punches. He wasn't really being first to the punch. Um, he was allowing Abraham to take long periods off at times, but without really capitalising on it. Um, and uh, yeah, his his work in general was pretty forced. He was he was trying really hard. It was a very gutsy performance, and he's done himself proud. You know, he's nothing to be ashamed of, but he, he just wasn't really. Well, once Abraham was focused and, and trained properly and, and uh, you know, was on his game, uh, unfortunately for Paul Smith, he just wasn't able to match it. So, you know, it was uh, you know, disappointing for the British fans, but you know, that, that's boxing. You can't, can't win them all. Um, but like I say, I, I don't expect Abraham to do much more in his career. Too many miles on a clock. You know, I... I don't think that performance on Saturday night would have been enough to beat Sturm or Stieglitz. I really don't. So uh, that's who he's calling out next. He's, he's saying that, that that will be one of his next fights or the next fight. Um, yeah, I expect him to lose it. I think we've, we've seen the, the last of Arthur Abraham um, in terms of accomplishments in the ring and, and that he's... Uh, his career will be coming to a close quite soon. Anyway, this is uh, Charlie with Boxing Focus. Let me know what you think and whether you enjoyed the fight.